Hi. I watch a lot of other mental health YouTubers, and I don't really want to call out the channels that I like and that I am worried about, but um, I just don't like it whenever audiences are like, what you're doing is stupid, and it's bad for you, and I don't agree with it, and I'm going to unsub, and I'm going to hurt your channel, and I'm going to make you feel like shit about yourself whenever you're going through some shit to help you. And um, y'all do that. And whenever y'all do that with like anti-influencers like Eugenia or Amber Lynn and so forth and so on. And it's maybe it's well intended, but I don't think people realize when they're being shitheads. And the audience doesn't really seem to realize sometimes that they're humans that like if... If Amberlynn and Foodie Beauty and, like, all those people or, like, whatever, like, whoever the hot bullshit person needs to be held accountable for their bullshit, then, I mean, the audience and the reactors and, like, all those people, they need to be held to the exact same standard, you know? And there's a time and a place and a limit and boundaries needed for, you know, that kind of criticism. And honestly, I feel like... Um, a lot of people are open to thinking about their actions. I mean, we're all growing up on the internet together, but, um, it's probably really fucking stupid to start, um, a wellness journey and document your progress on the internet. And, um, that's why I make it really fucking clear that while I am trying to unfuck my life, I'm still a fuck up and I'm immune to changing that. And I know better than wasting time and money on therapies or diets or routines or, you know, what the fuck ever. I'm just, I'm too cynical. I'm too jaded. Um, I don't have hope for a life without my situation, but I do have hope for a life of living with it as peacefully as I can. And... Uh, I think that it can be managed into a functional life and that that is uh, most people's reality. And when you turn this camera on and you're like, hey, I'm going to turn on my camera and I'm going to pretend to be a TV show and I'm the star and you have a mental illness and especially if nothing is really, if there's not a whole lot else in your life that you're particularly proud of and then you know, it's, the channel gets well-received and you're financially um, successful or something, like, in one way or another, you're going to want to cater to the audience or, or do something to, like, uh, bolster your revenue. And when your channel is about being sick, then, you know, you figure you gotta do the people justice and make yourself better. I get that. Like, I feel like all the time, um, especially because especially it gets scary to be up here and be like, yeah, I'm like, my life is a piece of shit all the fucking time. So uh, sometimes I'm just like, well, what if I just got on there and I'm like, well, yeah, uh, I'm all better. Uh, don't worry about any of that shit. It's gone. Like, um, if I just said that I wasn't um, bulimic or anorexic or that I was starting recovery, if I just bullshit y'all, I could probably convince you. Um, I'm a really good liar whenever I want to be, but, um, I get that pressure. It's, it's, but I mean, I still, I don't make money from YouTube and I still have two other jobs and other shit going on in my life. So, I mean, like, it's neither here nor there to me. Um, so I might as well stick to the honesty that the channel was kind of like founded on. But to other people trying to hustle, that's a, they have a lot more pressure than I do. And it's hard to make a living, I mean, yeah, in general. So I don't blame anyone for faking recovery for views, but... I find giving dieting advice and recovering advice, I just see that as different and a lot more unethical than what I do or what Eugenia does. And I think that faking it and telling people what to eat and showing everyone what they eat in a day and obsessing with food every fucking day and telling people that this is a portrait of what recovery looks like that the that this obsess uh, that this obsessive focus on food that tells normies at least she's eating you know 
that, oh, anorexics don't eat, at least she's eating. She Her whole channel is about food, her eating food, and she's all better. And it's just, it's just kind of fucked up, you know, because I'm not telling people to go out anybody or whatever, you know, just, it's not only telling people how to keep being sick, though, when they're looking for information on getting better and showing them how to get worse and how to hide it better. I don't know, just y'all anti-Eugenia people tell me that I'm a piece of shit and that she's a piece of shit, but, um... I think that we hadn't done nothing and that that shit's that that's a scumbag move. But then you have another brand of wellness channels and it's just you know of other kinds of mentally ill people who kind of take I'm gonna cure it with this diet. Oh, I changed every like the carnivore shit that's going on now that's supposed to like Oh, this is going to cure your cancer. This is going to cure your schizophrenia. This is going to cure your um, glaucoma. This is going to cure... This is going to make um, this go... You know, like every fucking time a fad diet comes out. Oh, but all these studies come out like... Well, like every fucking time a fad diet comes out. Like the vegan said that. Atkins said that. Everybody said that. Every fucking time a fad diet happens. That like the next new fad diet is going to say that. And nobody's going to listen to me. Um, this is falling on deaf ears. The next new bullshit fad diet is going to cure all the cancer. It's going to cure all the schizophrenia. It's going to, what, like, what the fuck ever. Like, it's every fucking time. But, um, I, I went off script. <laughs> I know. I hate those stupid diets. But, um, They may genuinely think, oh, this time I'm really curing it. And they may not be trying to, like, pull the wool over anybody's eyes or fooling anybody. But, like, it's going to be, like, this long-ass stupid series of misinformation and these bogus fucking studies. And then they're going to slip back into where they were at the worst. And then it's going to be a seriously fucked up episode because they're going to feel fucking stupid. And it's going to be ten times worse because their project that meant everything to them didn't fucking work. And, um... The thing that sucks about mental illness is it's not really physical and we're not trying to understand it, but I'm sorry. I, the thing that sucks about mental illness is that it's not really physical and we're just trying to understand it, you know, but we don't. Um, their doctors are trying to figure out and they re they rewrite it all the fucking time and a lot of the times whenever they rewrite the symptoms and stuff it's just so because the patients are fucking desperate for some kind of insurance company to believe them you know so we don't know what we're doing really and um we're doing our best but we and it's, it's still kind of it's more of a mess than i think that a lot of people realize no one has ever been cured of their mental illness i mean you might get better, but everyone's fucked up, and life sucks, and it's hard, and it's full of struggles and struggling, and if you stop the whole fucking world forever and laser focus on some bullshit instead of living alongside it, then dude, you're just gonna be chasing that dragon and trying to cure, you're just gonna be trying to cure yourself forever, uh, and you, nothing else is gonna be happening for the rest of your life. You're mentally ill and you will suffer with it until the day you die and that fucking sucks. That sounds bad, but you can still get better. Whenever you have an episode, you'll have an episode, but you'll get better from it. And it's okay if it's just better. And you never get it perfect. Because it probably won't ever really be gone. I don't think trying a bunch of religions or therapies or pills or diets or whatever and then like what what do you expect it to even look like whenever the thing you're trying works like what what is working even gonna do you know like what's it even supposed to feel like and I think you just need to figure out I don't know how to make your life suck less than it did yesterday 
and I don't know how to fix anything. I don't have any answers from you for you. Um, I, I know I can't give anybody hope. I can't tell you that, like, I can just tell you that, like, you're not alone and that everybody has to deal with this shit and it sucks to, it sucks to suck, but you can still live with it and you can still function, like, a pretty normal life with it. Like, I don't know, I do. But, um, I don't think that's gonna come from the food you eat or the pills you take or the spirituality you are. I mean, maybe those things will help for a little bit, but I mean, no matter what, you're still gonna be sick and it's still gonna, like, be coming for you, I promise. And, um, when it does, it's just gonna make you feel worse because you were, you had so much hope that this thing was gonna work. And, um, and then whenever it doesn't, you're fucked, you know what I mean? And, um... I just think that we don't look at these things we use to just, like, help us cope right. Like, we shouldn't... We should kind of... For whenever we get diagnosed with mental illnesses, we should probably kind of understand that, that that's a life sentence. It just is. And, um... It sucks, but, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there are worse things people could be, I guess. And, um, I'm not against anything that you feel like you need to do, but I think when what you need to do is stopping your entire life from progressing and you can't have a life or career, anything outside of getting better, then I think getting better is a part of a problem too. Okay, bye.